Hi. This story is about a young lady's journey from chaos to Christ. Watch as she comes to know the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, repents and believes in Jesus, getting saved, then getting baptized, but not before many tests, hardships and wrong choices made in her life. God can save anybody. This is part one of a series. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment, and may you enjoy the story and its lessons and may it bless you somehow in Jesus Christ name. God bless you. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man, preserve me from the violent man. Psalm 140, 1 KJV. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. 2 Timothy 4 18 KJV. But Eddie, I don't want to leave my house. Ah princess, I don't want to leave either but we have no other choice. There's a good job waiting for me to relocate. Look at you. You're in no position to catch any planes right now. I'm just fine. Now young lady are you all packed and ready to go? But dad. Princess. <coughs> <laughs> Everything will be just fine, trust me. Now turn that frown, upside down, and put on a happy face for your dad. Liliana, let's go dear. So, how about that smile? I can't rise now. I'll, I'll just go wait in the car. Okay sweetie we'll be out soon, but can I have a hug first? That's my baby girl. I love you, sweetie. I love you too. That's my sweet girl. <coughs> my stomach hurts bad but I can't let them know or they'll worry. I'll just take something for it again and hope it works this time. Liliana we gotta go. What are you doing in there? Just a sec dear. So anyway. The plan is working just fine. I did everything you said and he's coughing up a storm. He's so dramatic. Yes my love, we're catching the next flight out so we should be there in four hours. See you soon. How are you feeling dear? I feel, I feel faint. A little sick. You don't say. I'll see if the flight attendant has anything to give you to help you feel better. <coughs> okay, thanks my love. Anything for you. And how are you feeling, sweetie? Mom, do we have to relocate? I'll miss my friends, and dad is in no position to travel right now. Your dad will make it, don't worry. Sweetie, I know it's not easy letting go, but sometimes, we must let go of the people we love the most. A part of growing up is learning to say goodbye. I know it's not easy, but your dad will be just fine, and you'll make new friends, but don't forget you still have your old friends through video chat. Now I gotta go take care of your dad, I'll be right back. Daddy, are you okay? <coughs> I can't breathe. Sweetheart call the flight attendant, quick. Daddy no. You have to make it. You have to live. Please dad, fight it. Quick sweetie. Someone please help me. My dad is coughing up blood and he's fainting. Mom. Hurry up. Trevor. No baby please stay with me. <laughs> baby girl, I'm so sorry. Mommy, I told you daddy was in no position to be traveling. Now look what happened. Wait a minute, you told me? You, a child, a spineless child told me what now? Did you forget I'm your mother? I make the rules around here not you, now apologize to me. I'm sorry mom. You're sorry alright. Now stop your crying, here comes the doctor. Mother always hated me but I never knew why. 
Mrs. Himerson, can I speak to you in private? Anything you have to say to me you can say it in front of my daughter. She's 12 years old and can handle it. You sure? Um, yeah. Okay, here goes. You see ma'am, we ran some tests on your husband, and we found poisoning in his system, rat poison and a hint of bleach. We're trying our best to flush it out with IV fluids and treatments, but he's really weak and lost a sufficient amount of blood coughing. He now has an ulcer and he's losing conscience as we speak but they're sustaining him with an oxygen tank. Oh my word. How could he possibly have rat poison in his system when we don't even get rats? Sadly someone has been poisoning him over the course of at least four weeks, with rat poison and bleach. Looks like they were trying to kill him but failed, but became really really sick with an ulcer. My poor husband. My darling. Did he have any enemies you may know about? Enemies, yes. I bet it was his colleague from work. He was always jealous of my husband's success. Wait till I get my hands on him. I'm truly sorry. I know this is a difficult time, but would you like to file a complaint against this colleague? I can call the police and have him arrested. Can't you see I'm grieving? Why would I want to accuse someone and get them in handcuffs at a time like this? Oh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I know you're only trying to do your job. It's just too sensitive right now. I'll deal with his colleague later. When can I see my husband? One at a time you can see him now before visiting hours are over. He's still resting and we don't want the room crowded. Yes, I understand. Mommy, can I see daddy first? Please? Well, you are a daddy's girl. Is it okay, Doc? Absolutely. Oh, and I'll need your signature to keep him overnight and for release of records. I'll be back with the documents. Sure thing. <laughs> Daddy, are you alright? <coughs> now that I see you, I'm just fine beautiful angel. Daddy, why didn't you listen to me? I told you you were too sick to travel. I thought I was gonna lose you forever. You were right, I know, but your mother talked me into it. And you know I can't deny her. Plus, I had a job interview for a better job that makes more money here, so a win-win situation. Well, I made you a get well card, and I must have left it in the waiting room chair. I'll get it right quick. Thanks for the card, princess. I love you. I love you too, daddy. Promise me you'll be alive when I get back. I promise. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks for the signatures. Please know we're doing everything we can to restore your husband back to health. I know you are, thanks. Anytime. Again, my condolences for this difficult time, but if you need anything please don't be a stranger. Hello, handsome. He's in the hospital as we speak, and they found the poisoning in his system. The doctor said they're trying to flush it out and that he'll be here for at least a week, plenty time to finish what we started. He now has a stomach ulcer so it shouldn't be difficult. <laughs> you naughty naughty boy. But I believe you can show me better than you can tell me. Oh, then I can't wait. I'll even wear that thing you like. Yeah. Well, I don't want to blow my cover, but just know everything's going according to plan and soon, very soon we'll be together. Just me and you, and maybe my daughter. Can't wait, but I'll call you when we're close by. Love you too. Was that another man mom's talking to, while daddy's laying sick? Oh, mother. <laughs>